Well, everyone, I decided to turn on my camera, my, no, my app, to see what birds were around. There was a Carolina wren, a Carolina chickadee, and a red-bellied woodpecker in one minute of recording. It's really, really fun to sit out here and listen to the birds and then turn this app on. It's called, um, I have to remember, Gremlin, I believe it is. And it identifies the calls from the birds so you know what what sounds you're hearing, which is really cool. It's really cool. All right, everyone, I'm bringing you in to show you how I did this yesterday. And what I've done is I have put um, one and three-fourths cups of water in here. I have put a little bit of salt, just a dash, and I put half of a lemon, it looked like a lemon, in here, juiced, and some sweetener, some monk fruit sweetener. And now I'm waiting for this to come to a boil and I'm going to add the cream of wheat to it and the berries. And then we're going to plate it up, okay? It is a quick, simple kind of a meal that I came across a kind of recipe for it yesterday and thought, you know what? That, was, that sounded good. And I made it yesterday, thought I was filming and I wasn't. And it was so good that I wanted another bowl of it today. And so, we are going to get this cooking. And now I'm going to add in the blueberries. These are the blueberries that came from the food bank. much as you want. I'm sure that in the recipe it gave an amount, but I put as much as I do. I do a lot of cooking by feeling. All right. So as the cereal is cooking, the blueberries are going to thaw out. Okay. You got to keep stirring this so it doesn't clump up. I'm going to put the blueberries back in the freezer. So they don't fall. door no matter if it's a freezer door or what and he thinks somebody's here that was me so I'm gonna bring this up to a boil and I'm gonna let it cook for a little while and then I'm going to plate it up and I'll bring you back I haven't made it to take my shower yet this morning, but I'm bringing you in. I put in a little bit of the milk that I got from the food bank to make it creamy along with a little bit of butter. And I'm going to mix it up. It does two things doing that. It um, makes it creamy, number one. And number two, it cools the cereal off so I can eat it. <clears throat> All right, so this is, I never thought about, you know, adding, I like lemon berry, like, muffins and things like that, but it never occurred to me to make, you know, a cream of wheat or a matzo meal, lemon berry, and I had all the ingredients and they came from the food bank, so guys, I might as well, and yesterday I tried it for the first time, and I was shocked. It was so good. It tastes like eating a lemon berry uh, muffin or eating a lemon berry cake, you know, like a coffee cake. 
but it's a breakfast cereal and it's so good those are blueberries and the tartness of the lemon it's good people mm. it's good All right, I'm gonna get this eaten and we'll get to other things during the day. All right, everyone, I am in the process of making my carrot raisin salad and my coleslaw. And I am gonna bring you in and I'm gonna show you a um, mistake that I made. <laughs> look at the bags. The bags look exactly alike, do they not? Okay, except there's an important difference between these two. Let me show you what they are. Raisins, very clear. Prunes. I opened the prunes thinking they were raisins. No, 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 no. We're not going to make that mistake. <laughs> All right, I'm going to bring you in and show you what I'm doing here. I have shredded all of the raisins. I mean all of the carrots and I'm going to I'm going to add the raisins in here and this is not all of the carrots okay there's another bowl over here and so I am going to I want enough room to stir them and so I'm going to add however much raisins I want to add in here and then I'm going to go and add raisins in the second bowl and guys I go through this like I I munch on this through the day and the reason that I'm making these is because raw vegetables are way better for me than cooked vegetables okay and so I'm making my favorite things and it is helping with my blood sugar, okay? And so I've got a second basket, a bowl here. And I'm going to add raisins in it as well. Okay. So it's about a half a bag between the two. And mind you that... You know, this is going to last me a while, okay? So, I am going to put that up. And then, we are going to add in, I'm going to mix it up in this small bowl here. So you you guys see these two bowls, okay? I'm gonna move them out of the way so I can show you what I'm doing here. Now I'm going to take some mayonnaise. take some of this monk fruit sweetener and just shake a little bit in there to give it some sweetening okay this is instead of um, white sugar I'm using that and then I'm gonna mix this up I'm going to put half of it in one bowl and half of it in the other bowl. And this is going to be the dressing for the carrot raisin salad. Oh, one more thing. I always like to add a little freshness to the dressings. And so I have them from the food bank. 
So I am going to add it. And that is half of a, I believe this smells like a lemon lime. That's what it smells like. It's green on the inside, but it's yellow on the outside. So it's good. Okay. I've been using it in a bunch of different stuff, but half of this and look how much juice is in these. And so I am going to add half of this into this dressing. Add a little freshness to it. And then I'm gonna bring this salad bowl back over here. And we're gonna add about half of it in this one. I just want enough to coat it, all right? That's what I want. And that was, these were very large carrots, okay? <clears throat> You're gonna be surprised at how much carrots those three carrots made from the farm and Spice has to let you know that he's around he's running through the house barking okay and see I just want to barely coat it That's the way I like mine. I don't like a lot of dressing on mine. I like more of the carrots and the more of the vegetables and the and the raisins to come out and the dressing. Alright, so this one is coated. You're gonna see in a minute what he, what I mean. Okay. This one is coated. Now I'm going to take this spoon and I'm going to switch places with this and we're going to add the rest of this dressing to this. I start filming and then all of a sudden he is just like <laughs> he wants y'all to know he's here <laughs> so I'm gonna mix this in here So remember now, I've got quite a bit of salads now in my refrigerator. I have the cucumber tomato salad, I have the egg salad, I have the turkey salad that I'm working on, and now I have carrot raisin salad. And guys, I will be eating all of this, I promise you. And then I'm gonna already have the um, the cabbage ready for the cold field. All right, now watch what I'm gonna do. I want a room to mix this up. guys can see this. I'm hoping you can. So now, hmm. now there's a carrot raisin salad completely mixed up. And 
Then we're going to move on to the coleslaw. So let me bring the coleslaw over here. All right. So I used my big giant bowl for the coleslaw. And I put some carrots into the coleslaw. So I'm going to get the carrots mixed into the coleslaw. Because I wanted some um, color in here. So there we go. And then, well, I thought I had it mixed up. My hand down in the bottom of that bowl. Okay, there we go. Now, remember the onions that I chopped up yesterday or the day before? We're going to get those onions out. Find them. There they are. Okay, we go with the onions. These onions froze in my refrigerator. That's okay, they'll be fine. Okay. Rinse my hands off. And we're gonna get in here with a, let me get a spoon out. I'm just gonna get a simple wooden spoon. And we're gonna get these onions mixed in here. way better if I use my hands. It is way better if I use my hands. I know I'm getting down in there. All right. There we go. Okay. That's done. Rinse my hands. And now, what I'm going to do is, same bowl that I made the dressing for the carrot raisin salad, I'm now going to make the dressing for the coleslaw. And I'm going to use the rest of the mayonnaise. So now I'm officially out of mayonnaise. I used the last one. <laughs> Out of my, uh, out of my stock. Okay. Then I am going to add in just the same as I did the uh, carrot raisin salad. I'm going to add a little bit of this monk fruit sweetener in here. Okay. I'm going to add this half of the lemon that I have into this. Okay. We're going to mix this up. And just like the carrot raisin salad, I don't want a lot of dressing on this. I just want to coat it. Okay. All right, 
Scrape that bowl out and get all of this goodness out of there. All right, here we go. Okay, and now we're going to mix this. Now this time what I did with my um, cabbage is I ran it through my, um, through my food processor that one of my viewers purchased for me. And it made it so quick. Like in a minute or two, I had the cabbage all shredded. So it was awesome. All right. We're going to continue to work this in there. All right. Looks like it's mixed in there pretty good. we go. All right, so now this is going to go into the refrigerator and it's going to sit for a while and let all the flavors melt. And the mayonnaise jar is going into the trash, but the lid I'm keeping because it fits my mason jars. All right, these are the two salads I made today. Well, good evening, everyone. I'm bringing you in to show you what I have for dinner for myself today. And this is a combination of the salads that I've been, I put on this salad kick. And there's nothing wrong with that. Actually, this is really, really good for me because I'm eating a lot of fresh vegetables, not cooked. So, I have my cucumber tomato salad here and all I did we squeeze a little lime juice or lemon juice on top of it. I have a rye pumpernickel swirled bread that I found in my freezer. So I took it out yesterday, day before yesterday, day before yesterday. And let it thaw in my refrigerator. And I lightly toasted this in my toaster. And then on it is some of the egg salad. Then this is the um, broccoli cauliflower salad that I made that has walnuts in it. There's the walnuts. Okay, it has walnuts and... Let me look and see if these are raisins or cran craisins. These are craisins. 
And so, this is what I'm having for dinner. I do have a carrot raisin salad in the refrigerator and a coleslaw in the refrigerator that I made today, but I want it to sit for a while and let the flavors kind of meld together. And so, plus I have a cup of coffee. And this is the decaf coffee that I drink in the evening. And tomorrow, okay, tomorrow I am going to do a grocery haul. I already put my grocery order in for the month. And uh, it's going to be an extensive one. And part of the reason is because um, someone is donating a meat fund for me. And so I used money from the donations for the last two or three months for the meat fund to purchase some meats uh, for the next, should last me the next probably three, four, five months, okay? Yeah, it should. And so I'm excited about the, new, the meat purchases this month and along with everything else that I needed from the grocery store. So it's gonna be um, interesting, okay? Y'all hang around.